So I, um, I, start, I knew sickle cell disease as a child because uh, I was born and raised in Nigeria, which is uh, the country that, has, that is home to the biggest number of sickle patients. And uh, this was maybe the trigger. I always knew I wanted to do research and um, I always knew I wanted to work on sickle cell and find a solution because I had friends who had sickle cell and teachers at school who had sickle cell. And so when I started looking for uh, research, I knew I wanted to work on hematology because the blood always fascinated me. But I knew that I wanted to work on these genetic disorders that are impacting uh, the African population because uh, I feel that I'm very connected to, to that place of the world because I lived there for 16 years. So this is how I started working on sickle cell. And then the more I learned about it, the more I became passionate about it. And uh, now I feel it's a bit uh, my uh, mission to myself to prove that I can do something to help uh, the African people and, and in general the sickle patients because it is, we're in 2023 and we still don't have a cure yet, even though we had learned a lot about uh, the disease in the past years and a lot of advances has been done, but we still unfortunately are unable to offer a cure to the patients. And so I hope that my work will contribute just a little bit toward developing uh, a cure. My research is focused on trying to understand the pathophysiology of sickle cell disease and uh, I am very interested in understanding what's happening in the bone marrow niche because a lot of uh, research uh, has been done looking at what's happening uh, in the peripheral blood because up to recent years we have always thought that sickle cell disease is a pathology that's happening in the circulation of the patient because this is when the hemoglobin is going to sickle and give us these sickle shaped red cells. Uh, but with the development of new therapies like gene therapy, we noticed that some patients are not responding well to gene therapy and so this is when I wanted to study what's happening happening in the bone marrow niche, which is the environment where red cells is formed. And uh, I showed that there is a defect in the process of this formation of these red cells, which is called erythropoiesis. And this is how all um, my other research uh, opened, by looking more at the niche and what's happening in it uh, during the process of erythropoiesis in sickle cell disease.